Hi everybody, this is Boogass Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the brand new NECA TMNT Unarmored The Last Ronin figure. So before we take a look at The Last Ronin, let's take a look at all of the accessories that he comes with. So first up, he comes with this mouser, and it looks very nice. It's painted very nicely with all the black lines and the red details on there looking really nice. There is no articulation on this though. It is one solid piece. I do think it would have been cool if the legs would have been on the ball joints as well as the head. But it is a cool accessory, even though it doesn't have any articulation to it. Up next, he comes with a set of fisted hands. Up next, he comes with a set of open hands. Up next, he comes with Splinter's Journal. And this looks really nice. It's got some really great texturing to it, making it look worn. It has a nice black wash over top of it. It would have been cool if it's open, but it doesn't. It's still a very awesome accessory, though. Up next, he comes with this left pointing hand. And I do wish he would have came with a right one, too, but we just get a left pointing hand. Up next, he comes with accessory holding hands. Up next, he comes with four throwing knives, and these are extremely, extremely tiny. I just dropped one right now. Um, you could probably put these in his hand, but they're so tiny that they're really, really loose. I would have preferred an alternate hand where these were molded to it, like molded in between the fingers there. I think that would have looked really cool. But yeah, these are very tiny. I've already lost them a few times. Up next, he comes with Leonardo's broken sword. And this looks really good. The blade is broken and it looks very nice. And the wrapping to the handle is painted very nicely. Has that dark brown wash over top of it. As well as dark brown being painted right there on that pattern. That looks really nice. You can store the broken sword right here on the back of the belt. But the shell kind of makes it bend just a little bit. It's not bending much. But I figure the more it stays this way, the more the plastic will kind of warp. And this is a very thin plastic, so if it warps any, it'll probably break. So yeah, I do wish they would have made it to where it wouldn't bend it. Because that really worries me. Like I said, it's very slight at the moment. But the more you leave it in there, the more it's probably going to bend it. And then it'll break because it's such a thin plastic piece. Up next, he comes with Raphael's side. You can also store this accessory on the belt, and this one actually stays really well. This doesn't feel like it's going to warp or break or anything. This one fits really nicely and looks really cool. Up next, he comes with his nunchucks, and these really don't stay in his hand, especially if you've put the other accessories in either hand. It makes them holding these a little loose. So I do wish these would have been just a little bit bigger, uh, maybe like this. That way it wouldn't keep slipping down. That is a big issue with the nunchucks. You can store the nunchucks on the bigger belt loop right here on the back. But because of these being so tiny, they are a little bit loose. If you lift the chain up, these will eventually just fall through. So these are staying for now, but these have dropped out on me a lot since I've been posing the figure around. So I do wish this belt loop would have been just a little bit tighter to hold these just a little better. Up next, he comes with this accessory. I want to say it's called a tofa. But it looks really nice. It's done in silver. It has some nice black paint over top of it. That looks really good. The sculpt and paint detail to this thing looks very, very nice. And finally, he comes with this alternate angry head sculpt. I do think I prefer leaving this head sculpt on him, but both head sculpts look really nice. So now let's go ahead and take a closer look at this head sculpt. So looking at both head sculpts, I think NECA did a really good job on them. They have some really nice texturing. It seems that the paint is better on this uh, closed mouth version. You can see it has a little bit of light green paint over top of the skin, and this one does not. You get the spots there on the back of the head. This one has the same spots. But yeah, this one does have just a little bit of better paint on it. You get the comic lines painted on, on both heads, and I think that looks really good. But yeah, it's kind of weird that this head sculpt has paint on it, and this one doesn't. The shell is textured very nicely, and it has a black wash over top of it, and that looks really good. It brings out those details very nicely. This whole figure is covered in a very nice wash, and it really brings out all the details on this figure very nicely. You get his scars. They're painted in a reddish color. That looks really good. Some more really good texturing to his skin. You can see some veins there on his bicep. His shell looks really nice with those comic lines painted on. It has more of that black wash to it. The outside of his shell does too. The belt has that wash over top of it as well. Looks very nice. His pants are textured very, very nicely. That looks really nice. It's done in this light blue collar and then has that black wash over top of it. And the black wash got in all of that sculpted texturing and brought it out very nicely. That looks really good. 
also has some good sculpt detail to his gloves there. You can see a bunch of scratches and stuff. And there's silver paint in all the scratches. That looks really good. He has his two different knee pads. And these look really good. I'm just really surprised at all of the paint detail on this. It looks so good. And then down here on the leg armor, you get that darker tone towards the bottom of each armor piece. It's that grayish color and fades into that brownish color. And that looks really good. The paint detail on this is top notch. And then there you have his sandals with a nice wash to his feet and his toenails are painted on. He even has some texturing to the bottoms of his feet. So yeah, I'm really impressed with this figure. The texturing all throughout the whole figure and the paint detail is really, really well done. NECA really knocked it out of the park with this figure. So now let's go ahead and go over his articulation. He has a ball jointed head that can look up all the way. He can't quite look down all the way. He's kind of already doing that just because of the way the neck is sculpted. He can move his head side to side. His bandana is articulated so you can swivel it back and forth. He has ball jointed shoulders. They can move out that far. I do wish they could have moved out just a little farther. These joints are stuck just a little bit, so I don't really want to force it. He has double jointed elbows that can bend in that far. The gloves do hit on the bicep right there, so that hinders it just a little bit. He has a swivel thrust that can move side to side and up and down. He has a ball jointed waist. They can move back very slightly, forward very slightly, and side to side. He has ball jointed hips that can only move out that far. The, uh, the skirt right here does hinder that just a little bit. He can kick forward that far. He can kick back all the way. He has a really nice thigh swivel. He has double jointed knees that can bend back that far. And he has a swiveled ankle that can only move down that far. It does hit on that armor. It can move up all the way. It swivels up here in the shin. And he has a nice ankle rocker. So now let's do some size comparisons. The first up. Here he is next to the movie version of himself. And finally, here he is next to the only other comic TMNT figure I own, the Blue Vernet figure. And as you can see, this is kind of stylized in its own way. So even the comic figures that NECA has done so far doesn't really fit in with this figure. It's not quite movie, and it's not quite this comic version either. So it's kind of just its own unique thing. So overall, I would highly recommend picking this up because it is a stellar figure. NECA did a really, really good job on this. I can't wait to get the armored version next. Um, that is one version I don't have yet. But if it's anything like this one, it is going to be sculpted and painted very, very nicely. This is a very awesome figure. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.